The definite article. You have probably noticed that nouns in French are often preceded by le, la, les, or sometimes an apostrophe. All these words correspond to the English the. They are definite articles. These are words that are used with and placed before a noun and restrict its meaning. In French, there are three types of articles. Definite articles, indefinite articles, and partitive articles. There is also a subcategory of definite articles, the contracted articles, which consist of a combination of the prepositions a or de and the definite article. In this video, we are going to focus on the definite article. A definite article refers to something that is known both by the author and the recipient of the speech. Definite articles are used before the noun, the objects or beings to which they refer are specific. Le is used with masculine singular nouns, for instance, le père, the father. La is used with feminine singular nouns, for example, la mère, the mother. L'apostrophe is used with masculine or feminine singular nouns that start with a vowel or a silent H. For instance, l'oncle, the uncle, l'école, the school, or l'hôtel, the hotel. Les is used with all plural nouns. For example, les pères, les mères, les oncles, les écoles, les hôtels. Note that in front of a vowel or a silent H, les is pronounced les. French language uses the definite article much more than English does. Accordingly, every time you use the definite article in English, you will probably need it in French. But you will use it as well in other situations. To designate a group in its totality, for instance, if you say les chats sont des mammifères or le chat est un mammifère, cats are mammals, you don't use any article in English, but you do in French. To refer to something in general, for example, j'aime la cuisine italienne, unlike Italian food or with countries, continents, regions, mountains, rivers, seas, etc. For instance, la France, l'Europe, les Alpes, and so on. Au revoir. Created using Powtoon.